Hello, today I will show you how to fix lines and stains on your printer on any laser jet printer with draw. So I'm going to do a test print so that you can see what I mean. The printout is going to come out with lines and stains of all kinds on, on the printout. The problem basically has to be with the front unit. So the first thing you're going to do is, if you have an issue like this, is to check your drum unit. You can see my my printout. You can see a lot of stains on your doors and dead, and it has lines on it also, and the lines, and all kinds of stains. So basically, this problem has to do with the drum unit. You have you need to check your drum. Something is wrong with the drum. And if it has lines on it, something is wrong with the blade. So I advise you to change the drum and the blade. So to remove the drum unit, you don't have to change the whole drum. The first thing you're going to do is to empty the drum unit. If the if the waste tank of the drum unit is full, sometimes it can spill into your printout. And the printer becomes dead. So this drum, I'm going to be replacing this drum. Because I know that something is wrong with this drum, it is bad. So the first thing I'm going to do as a remedy, open up the drum and then empty the drum. I have another video that I did that did show you in detail how to empty the drum unit of any laser jet printer at all. To empty the drum unit, this drum unit actually collects uh, dirt and waste over time. And if you don't empty it, it can become the container can become full and begin to spin into your printout. So I'm be replacing with this drum with the blade. The drum unit I'll be replacing it with. And I'll also be replacing the blade. You can get this drum at uh, your regular uh, supply store where you sell, where they sell computer parts. And this is the blade I'm going to be replacing it with. Remember when getting this blade, make sure it is the same type with the, the drum you are looking for. This blade is going to take care of this one. So remember, it has to be compatible with your own drum unit. So to be able to replace this drum unit, there are screws on both ends of the drum unit, the right hand side and the left hand side. I'm going to take the screws out gently. And remember when you're doing dealing with drum, you, you should be careful not to expose the drum to too much light because that can reduce the, the quality of, of your printout also. So I'll remove all the screws on either side of the, the drum and then remove the latch. That is this plastic latch that is holding the drum to it. I'll just gently pull it out. You can see it comes out easily this way. And now pull out the latch on the other end also. And now carefully remove the drum unit. Once you remove the latch. The drum unit is supposed to come up easily. See the drum comes out easily. So the next thing I'm going to be removing is the charge roller. The reason why I'm removing the charge roller is because I need to remove the screws one that is holding the blade down. And there are two screws holding the blade down, one on this end. And then after replacing your blade and your drum, if you notice that you have um, dust particles on your printout, like you have dot 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 on your printout, you can just hit me up in the comment section. 
I will tell you what to do to be able to fix that issue. So with my brush, I'm going to brush out the excess, uh, the excess waste toner on it. I've already emptied this container before now. I emptied the container and that didn't resolve the problem. So I know I had to change the drum. Remember initially I told you that once you have this issue, the first thing you're supposed to do is to empty the container. This container. So this is the new blade. You have to fix it properly and then I'll screw it down. So just like I said earlier, after replacing the blade or the drum, you discover that you have particles on your printout. Those like dot 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 particles on your printout. Just it hit me up in the comment section. I'll give you a link to one of my videos that shows you how to be able to deal with it. Or I will give you an explanation on one or two things to do. So I'll put the two screws. It's complete now. The next thing I'll go in is the charge roller. So this is the charge roller. I'm going to clean it out a bit. When cleaning this charge roller, you do not use water at all. Just get the tissue paper. Tissue paper should do. Tissue paper and just gently clean it out and then replace the charge roller again. This is the drum. So this is the drum unit. This so is what it looks like inside. The reason for this black um, wrap around it is so as to prevent light from getting to it. I said earlier, light can damage the quality of the printer if you expose your drum to too much light. So while you're doing this, you have to be as fast as possible. And then don't do it under the sun or in direct place where you direct light can, can have access to the drum. So I'm going to replace all the latch on both ends of the drum. Then I'll screw it back. So the drum is all set right now i'm going to put it inside the printer and i'm going to do a test print
So today you're going to reach out under the under the printer. For this particular printer I'm working on, you get the drum from here. You can see just the two blue clip on each end. You have to raise it up to be able to put the drum inside. And the same way when you want to remove the drum, you have to pull up the two blue flaps to be able to remove the drum. So and when you replace the drum, after replacing the drum, you need to press the blue latch down the way it was before and then close it up. And now we will press space right now and see it is initializing. I'll wait for it to initialize and do its calibration. It's going to calibrate because I replaced the, the drum. See, it is ready now. So I'm going to do a test print. So remember to like and subscribe to the channel, I have a whole lot of videos on printer repairs and services.